Okay guys, back at the screencast, we're looking at 13.3 measures of variation. Um, we are still looking at different uh, different lists of information and, and just determining what ways we can, different ways we can write them. Um, I went ahead and put this list in order just to save some time. We've got 0, 24, 31, 31, 32, 34, 35, 39, 61. Uh, you'll notice that the zero to the left is, is quite a ways away from the second uh, number and also the 61 is quite a ways from the 39. Um, that's going to be something we're going to deal with in, in just a minute. But let's go ahead. The things that we're going to find today, um, we're going to find the median. We're going to find, wow, I sure can spell good today. Median. Sorry about that. Don't show this to Miss Bundy. We're going to find what's called the upper quartile. We'll get to that in just a second. We're going to find the lower quartile. We're going to find the actual range. And then we're going to find an interquartile range. And I know that sounds crazy right now, but you will find that it is fairly simple. So let's find the median. We've got uh, two, four, six, eight, nine. We've got nine pieces of information, which means that is odd. So we are going to have one directly in the middle. And so the one directly in the middle is our 32. So that's going to be pretty simple. Let's go ahead and get the 32 in there. Um, another one pretty easy. Let's go ahead and find the range. Range is going to be highest number minus the lowest number. That's going to be 61 minus 0, which is 61. So those are the two easiest to find at this time. Okay, now let's look at the new ones. Let's look at the upper quartile and the lower quartile. Um, what the median has done is split this into two pieces of information. We have higher numbers and lower numbers, or bigger numbers and smaller numbers. To the right is the upper quartile, because they are greater. And to find the upper quartile, all we do is take the numbers that are to the right of the median, which is those four right there, and we find their median. So we find the median of those four numbers. Well, the two numbers that are in the middle are going to be 35 and 39. So I need to find the median of 35 and 39. So I would add 35 plus 39. And if you've got a calculator, you're already one step ahead of me. And that's 74. And half of 74 is going to be 37. So my upper quartile is 37. Now, my lower quartile Okay, I take these four sets of numbers, and then I find their median. So that's going to be 24 plus 31, and it's going to be uh, 55, and so that's going to be 27. Point five. Okay, 27.5. Now, we know that range is just highest minus the lowest. So what do you think inner quartile range would be? We just found the quartiles. So what do you think we would do there? Well, if some of you are thinking, well, we just take the biggest quartile minus the smallest quartile, you are absolutely right. So we take upper quartile of 37 minus the lower quartile of 27.5. And that's going to give us a range of 9.5. OK, so th three new pieces of information, upper quartile, lower quartile, and inner quartile range. Um, but I think we'll do quite well on those. They're, they're fairly simple to find. All right, guys, pretty short cast tonight, a little bit less than five minutes. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. We will see you tomorrow.